see her in the period, she will now come and take up. Glory! If you're a praise in the house, God is a good God. You know, to after three this morning, I didn't know I was able to walk. But God gave me some added sleep. And it seemed like during the sleep time there, coming out over into the morning, him do a healing job there. Now when I got up and realized I couldn't walk, I said, oh my God, you have come true again. And I just give God all the praise and all the glory. And I'm hoping that Brother Josh will come soon, because he's going to miss up this morning, you know. You know, our theme says, stand firm, your anchor will not drift. It is secured. But you know when you throw down your anchor, the ship rock before it settles down. But it's a rock it kind of go on right now. But you know the anchor holds. The anchor holds. The anchor holds. That much I know because I know who holds that anchor. I'm anchored in Jesus Christ. And so I'm going to stand firm. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Sister Christian, could you wave your hand? Let me see. Yes, could you come and minister at this time? All right. After that, you will hear what will come next. All right? Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So glad to see the leaders this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And everybody this morning. Let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. In shady green pastures, so rich, so rich, and so sweet, God leads his dear children. Cool water flows where the weary, the weary wants me. God lives, he's their children.
Elder Lord Wayne Grant, Elder Jasmine French, Elder Mary Gordon, Elder Wallace. are the persons who will serve in the eldership of the church. Their duties will be given at another time. Thank you. You may return to us. The deacons are as follows. Deacon Selvin Hemings. Deacon Clifton Daniels. Deacon Audley Rickman, Deacon Laurie Hinton, Deacon Ron Richards. And as Sister Pierce said, there is some hiccup. There's Deacon Joshua there. Thank you, brothers. Deaconesses are as follows. Deaconess Sonia Barnaby. Deaconess Linda Gordon. Deaconess Marva Evans. Deaconess Joyce Johnson. Deaconess Janet Mills. Deaconess Vanessa. Morris These are the sisters who will serve the church and the capacity of deaconesses. Thank you. of the MOV. Bless God. As we continue to formulate with the leadership, this is one of the department council of the Shadow Bible. As we see, we have the first vice president, Elder Baldwin Grant. Second vice president, we have Deacon Laurie Hinton. Continue to pray for Joshua Peart, he's the secretary treasurer. Eight for that. Yes, well, we'll break it down, treasurer. All the rig man. Yeah, don't forget to give him your monthly amount. <laughs> Coordinator, we have Deacon Selvin Emmons. Prayer Coordinator, we have Elder Wallace Clark. Bless God. One other thing you might not see there, we are a church that will be built upon evangelism. And men of vision of a coordinator. And that will be led by Elder Derek Watson to include Pauline Grant and Laurie Hinton as a team. God bless you. Thank you, brothers. At this time, I'll invite our Elder Jasmine French, the president of the Women of Worth Ministry. Praise God. Wow. It is indeed a privilege to introduce the ladies today who will be working in the WOW department. Wow! What a wow! And I begin by introducing our first president, Deaconess, Vice President, Deaconess Linda Gordon. And then we have second Vice President, Deaconess Joyce Johnson. 
then we'll have Sister Velma Stewart, our Secretary Treasurer. Then followed by our Events Coordinator, Sister Marion Dyer. And then last but not least, Sister Joycelyn Campbell, the Prior Coordinator. And I'm telling you, that ministry is a powerful ministry because we need prayer in everything that we do. We need to seek God's face for wow to be wow. All right? So this is my team that will be working with ladies, ladies in the church. This is our team. And you are part of our team. And you're going to be working with us for the next couple of years. God bless you. I'll now invite and appear to come as she introduce to you the leaders, the executives of the youth and Sunday school departments. Bless the Lord. I will start with the department that has no age barrier. Right? Everybody is supposed to be in. Bless the Lord. Okay, we are shifting things a little. The youth is up. So Chris and Betty had to be unavoidably absent at the out of the island right now. So, but she's our president. Next we have Deacon Royal, Royal, sorry, Richards, first VP. Second VP, Brother Andrew Ogilvy. Secretary Treasurer, Sister Leslie Ann Palmer. Our prayer coordinator for the young people, Brother Tajay Samuel. Our events coordinator, Brother Sean Grant. Alright, our future deacons and deaconesses, the younger ones I'm referring to. Bless the Lord. I want you to keep them in your prayers. Youth department is not one of the easiest departments to work with, with all of what's happening around. So remember these young people when you pray. Thank you, young people. God bless you. Now to the Sunday school department. We have as our Sunday school superintendent, Sister Veronica, and I don't want to see this slide moving, Hent Campbell Henton. Could you please come? All right. She's really Campbell Henton, you see? Don't let Brother Henton believe that it's just Campbell. All right? Brother Henton is right over there. Then Deputy Superintendent, and there are different levels in the Sunday School, Deacon Joshua Peart, Deaconess Joyce Johnson. Um, no, 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 it's not Joyce. It is Joan Watson. Yes, it is Joan Watson. That is a typo. Mm. <laughs> All right, Sister Joyce, not going to double you up this morning or triple you up. And Sister Joan Watson is the wife of Elder Watson. All right? Sharon Grant, you're supposed to be there. Three deputies, upper school, middle school, and lower school. Sister Sharon Grant, where is she? Come, Sister Sharon, wife of Brother Grant over there. All right. Well, let's get this fixed up nicely. So, soup. No, 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 let's just stay right. All right, these are our deputies, minus one who is not here right now. Then we have the secretary, Sister Andrea Brown. Sister Andrea Brown is secretary. Treasurer Sister Marine Tolo. Events Coordinator Sister Telma Morgan. And Prayer Coordinator Sister Doreen McDonald. Yes, there is a male on the team. Alright? And more males will be working with these, so don't you worry. Because God is going to bless us 
male and female created in them. Amen? Amen. So remember them in prayer as you remember their faces this morning. God bless you. Thank you. I will now invite the leaders to stand. And there's a pledge of allegiance that we will say together. It will be displayed. In uniting with Cornerstone Mission Open by the Church in the parish of St. Catherine and an affiliate of the Open Bible Standard Churches of Jamaica. I subscribe to the following declarations as my covenant with God and His Church. Believe in Christ to be the Son of God. I accept Him as my personal Savior and acknowledge Him as my Master and Lord. Luke 12, verse 8. I shall seek to lead a consistent Christian life, honoring Christ in all my relationships, according to St. John 15, 14. As a member of this church, I accept the following responsibilities. I shall strive to be faithful in my attendance of public services, shall endeavor to render some form of Christian services. I shall give regularly my tithe and offering to the support of the church, and its mission as the Lord shall prosper me. We sing together the song which is on the back of the program. <laughs>
chanting as I invite our Reverend Curtis to come pray the prayer and anoint with olive oil. Praise the Lord. Good morning, everyone. This is a very important time in the life 